Yeah, it's really, it's really key and it's really good news that open intelligence is already present. So there's nothing that we need to achieve or nothing that we need to try to um, gain more of or nothing that we try to need to um, arrange in ourselves to have more open intelligence. Open intelligence is always present, equal and even in every experience that we have, in every thought that we have, in every emotion that we have, in every experience. Also the things that we think are not included also open intelligence shining brightly and what we do when we take these short moments this simple instruction of relying on open intelligence for short moments repeated many times we recognize that open intelligence is always present equal and even in every experience in every data stream so every data stream everything that we can perceive we can simply call data so any thought emotion sensation experience data streams, everything shining forth, open intelligence, always at the basis. So with these short moments, we are recognizing that again and again, seeing that nothing about our circumstances need to change in order to recognize open intelligence. Nothing needs to change in our circumstance in order to have complete well-being and complete life satisfaction. Well, now that get, went against everything that I thought was possible for me as a human being. I thought I need to have positive thoughts, I need money, I need a husband, I need kids, and all of these things to be of, have complete well-being and life satisfaction. And wow, now I see that in every circumstance that I'm in, if I'm married or not, if I have children or not, if I have money or not, if I have um, many friends or not, I can be of completely at ease and complete, have complete well-being in every moment of my life. And that's incredible. And there we see, wow, nothing about our circumstances need to change in order to recognize open intelligence. If we are a spiritual person or if we are not a spiritual person, if we are a drug addict or if we are whatever we are, everyone has the same capacity capacity to recognize open intelligence. So in this training it's not about spirituality, it's going beyond that. It's about being human and being of benefit and how we, we as human beings can elicit all our strengths, gifts and powers to contribute to the world to be of benefit. So that's a big relief because it includes everyone the hum as humankind, really everyone. That's why we are not limiting ourselves to a concept of spirituality. We're opening up being human. That's what we want to be. We all want to be human. Everyone on this earth wants to be, is a human being first of all, and wants to be happy. So everything that we are doing, is it um, looking for um, spiritual practices, is it drugs, is it um, husband, is it whatever it is, it's wanting to feel happy and satisfied. And ultimately of being of benefit to ourselves and others. And that's incredible. And that's what we are introduced here in this, in this teaching, in this training, to really become human and become real with ourselves. Coming of complete peace within ourselves, have complete stability in every moment of our life, in every circumstance of our life. No matter what it is, no matter the data streams that come up. And that was also my experience, that so many data streams came up when I started to rely on open intelligence because for the first time I was able to allow everything to be as it is, not needing to change my data streams, not needing to rearrange them, not trying to neutralize them and not feel them. For example, anger, jealousy, all these kinds of things that, that come up for a human being, not trying to feel them. So all the energy that went into dampening it down came all the way up, all these afflictions came really raging. But for the first time in my life I was able to face it completely and I, I had the tools to do that, I had the tools to face it completely and to see that that is just the dynamic energy of open intelligence and within that was so great power and stability that allowing it to be as it is, all these data streams, I could use that energy to be of, of benefit every time I had great afflictive states coming up, 
and allowed them to be, it was great empowerment, complete empowerment every time. So I could see, wow, that just is so much power in there within me, so much stability in every data stream and suddenly I didn't need to change anything anymore about my, my experience. Suddenly there's well-being in every circumstance within the affliction. It's in complete ease within, within everything that we've labeled as, as being afflictive. Now my whole vantage has changed of perceiving something as afflictive or not afflictive. It's just gone. There's just dynamic energy coming and the, it, it's just coming and going and I, there's, I cannot hold on to any experience. So I cannot hold on to the positive ones and I cannot get rid of the negative ones. So might as well leaving them really as they are without needing to change them. We will always be changing. All data are continuously changing, are unpredictable and ceaseless. So we don't need to take responsibility for the data streams that come up for us. I mean, th there we cannot take any responsibility for because they are unpredictable. We cannot predict when we get angry or we cannot predict when, when we get sadness or anything like that. The only responsibility we have and that we can take where we can see that we have a choice is in how do we want to relate to those data streams. How do I want to perceive them? So we can either go into them, indulge them these data streams and going into stories around them. We can um, avoid them, trying not to feel them. Or we can try, uh, we, we replace them, trying to have a, neg we have a negative state and replace it with positive states. Or we have the fourth um, option and that is to rely on open intelligence and seeing that nothing about that experience, about that data streams need to change to have complete well-being to be completely fulfilled in every circumstance. I mean, inseparable. We have, we have inseparable, some inseparable from <coughs> feeling sadness and anger, we can feel okay, completely okay. I mean, that is incredible. We have complete okayness as the ground of our lived experience. And then we see, wow, that only, not only gives us the opportunity to not collapse into anger, jealousy or hatred, we can see it for what it is and then see, okay, how can I be of benefit? We are not any more affected by any data stream. No data stream that comes up can affect the way we relate to each other, the, how we use our speech. I mean, we can be completely, totally angry and open-hearted. I, 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 I never thought that uh, that was possible. And now I see it, it's, it's my lived experience. So everything that I heard in this teaching became more and more my lived experience. So also the question about direct experience of going beyond the restraining of the body. I mean, test it out and see in your own experience what happens when we rely on open intelligence and seeing more and more everything that comes about in our, in our direct experience. That's the, pos uh, that's, uh, that's the most powerful thing. I mean, we can share all our experiences, but until you test it and see for yourself in your own direct experience, and that is the most powerful. So that's the invitation to just simply test it out in your own direct experience. And, and you can do that just today. You go around Rishikesh and anytime a perception comes up, a thought, emotion, Instead of describing or going off into the story or emphasizing it, you relax body and mind for a split second, just for a split second. And that you repeat whenever you remember, remember to do so, during the, your whole day. And then you can come back tomorrow and, see, and come to the open meeting and see what... what you, there's so immediate benefit within that right away. And then you can test it another day. And so you test it for some days and then you come back and can share with us you, what the benefits you've received. And it, it's so immediate, really, if we're really um, opening up to that instruction, to that instruction set of the four mainstays that we just heard described. It's, it's so immediate and so guaranteed that this will come about. It's a complete guarantee that we, if we um, really take up the instructions and testing it out, and we can take a, just a time period, that's what I did. I just thought, okay, I will test it out for, I was here three months in Rishikesh where I also um, met the training and I, I said, okay, these three months I will give it all. 
I take all instructions that are given. I will just test it out in my experience and see what happens. These three months, full, full on. I'm so glad I, I was open to that now. I mean, that was the most precious time of my life, really opening up to, to that about myself that is so powerful and stable and that well-being in, within me. And since then, it's just ever-growing. The stability, emotional and mental stability, the life satisfaction, the empowerment, every day, more and more, just inexhaustibly increasing. And that's not only my experience, it's the experience of so many human beings and for everyone. And that's the beauty of it. It's about being human. And that's why we, how we come and gather here together, because we all want to be human and we all want to be of benefit and share that with others. So, that, yeah, that's, that's the real beauty of it. And I just want to shortly say about um, social situations about the questions and it's so natural to feel completely afflicted in social situations. I think many, many people know these data streams. I mean, I for sure had those coming up very strongly. And, and for me, it, it, since I was then introduced to open intelligence, it was a perfect testing ground to test relying on open intelligence with all the afflictive data in social situations. And, then, then to just to test it out. Sometimes I would stay in a social situation and really see, okay, can I rest with everything and find my well-being within that? And I was amazed how, how, how I could do that, even if I felt completely afflicted. I could feel a sense of ease. But and other times I just decided to, to, to leave. So there's no fixed rules that we need to follow. You will know in every circumstance what will be of most benefit for you. And, and that you can completely trust there. And that's, that's really beautiful. And then we're just testing it out in every circumstance. Testing it out, that's, that's what I did. And, and, and then I see, so in, exactly in these situations, I more and more see how powerful I got and, and how unaffected I can be in every circumstance. Seeing also more and more clearly what will be of most benefit for myself and others in each situation, and that being my guiding force of, of all relating in all actions, coming back to that thing, what is of most benefit for everyone. So that's really what I really opened up more and more here with that training, and that's really the beauty of it, opening up to that about ourselves that is always beneficial. <coughs>